Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We just read that the real Jews are what? What color? Black. So those that's running around pretending to be Jews, Christ said they're not. Who a Jew? You a Jew. That's right, sis. You're learning something. You've been to church all your life, and you never learned that you're a Jew. You know why? Because you got false prophets and false teachers in those Christian churches. They teaching what the slave master pushed down upon our people in slavery. They're not teaching the Bible. They never taught you this. We came out here to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. When you read the Bible, you so-called Hispanics and you so-called blacks, you are the Israelites of the Bible. And God put curses on our people because we broke his commandments. And we're going to go into some of that to prove to you that we're God's chosen people. Give me that in John chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it up. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. What the Lord say? And ye shall know the truth. So this is Jesus the Christ speaking. Jesus the Christ said, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Give me what the truth is. The Bible says, Jesus the Christ said, ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Let's see what the truth is according to the Bible. Not my truth, but what do the Bible say the truth is? You sisters right here, do y'all know what the truth is according to the Bible? Watch this, read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law. And thy what? And thy law. And thy what? And thy law. Is the truth. And the Bible says the gods are, hey brother, brother, the laws of God is the truth. Meaning what? You black people, you Hispanic people, the reason why you went into slavery, because you didn't keep God's laws. The laws of God is the truth. Hey sisters, how y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible, right? Y'all stop to all praise to the most high. I'm going to ask y'all a question. Who is this? This your, your daughter. Okay, y'all praise to the most high. Now I'm going to ask y'all a question. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Bring it out. What race of people do you come from in the Bible? Christian is a religion. What race of people do y'all come from in the Bible? Your nationality means what race do you come from? You read that in the Bible? No, I'm talking about what race of people y'all don't know. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. I don't even know. I got you. Guess what? You gonna learn you been to church? You go to church now? Was you, was you raised in church? Yeah, I was. You was too? Yeah. For how many years, you would say? I was, I was 11. Since you was 11. About how many years is that? About 10. About 10 years. And you probably been in church longer than that, right? Okay, okay. Okay, now I just asked them a question. What? I'm going to ask you. Come, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'll be raised. Okay, go ahead. What you guys say? Baptized before, but I want to be baptized again. Okay. Now, how old are you? I just turned 23 yesterday. You just turned 23. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Meaning, what race of people do you come from in the Bible? Because the Bible, has, God created everybody, right? The nationalities of the people that's on the earth is in the Bible. Which one do you come from? Bring it out. You don't know. It's okay. If you don't know, it's okay. Today, you raised in church, right? Today, you're going to learn more than what you ever learned in your life out of all the years you've been in church. Just stay right here. Read that real quick. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. I was raised in church too. Don't. All of us was raised in church, but we never learned this. Read. 
the ox know of his owner. So the Bible says the ox know of his owner, meaning the ox is a dumb animal. But he knows who his owner is. No matter what, no matter who come up to him, just like a dog. A dog know who his owner is, right? But the Bible says an ox is dumb. But he know who owns him. You understand? Read on. And the ass, his master's crib. An ass is a donkey. A donkey know where he come from. A, not, no, not your, not that ass. But an ass is talking about a, it's talking about a donkey. So if you take a donkey away from his homeland and you let him go, he's going to know where to, where to uh, go back to get where he come from. Y'all understand? He know where his homeland is at. And an ox knows his owner. Watch this. But Israel. But who? But Israel. So the Bible comes back and says, but Israel, the nation of Israel, do of not know. My people do of not consider. God says that his people don't know who they are. Neither do they consider that they're the real Jews, that they're the Israelites of the Bible. The people that Moses brought out of Egypt, that's us. We're the descendants of those people. We are the real Jews. Would you believe that? Give me Jeremiah uh, real quick. And then we're going to go to Deuteronomy real quick. Did y'all know the Jews was black? No? Y'all thought they was white, right? You thought the Jews was white too, huh, sis? I want to go Fourteen. Yeah. So you thought y'all thought that the Jews was white, correct? Exactly. They they don't serve the God of this Bible. They do serve another God. We're gonna show you what God they serve. Watch this, watch this. I'm gonna show you something. The God of this Bible is not the God of everybody. Yes. Believe it or not, the God of this Bible is the God of the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what we're called today. We're the Israelites. And the reason why we disconnected from the Bible is because we broke God's commandments. And God is angry with us. He put curses on us as a people. Would you believe that? I'm going to show it to you. Watch. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah morning. Judah morning. Uh, the acronym for Jew for Judah is Jew. Jew is short for Judah. You understand? If you 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 call yourself a Jew, mean you're Judah. You understand? It's short for Judah. You understand? Read it again. Judah of mourning. So the Jews are in mourning even to this day. Come on. And the gates they're of language. And their leaderships are the leadership of the Jews are weak. They famished. They're not doing anything for their people. Come on. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black unto the ground. The Bible says that the Jews are black unto the ground. You know why he said unto the ground? Give me Genesis right quick, 2 and 7. What color is the dirt? The deeper you dig, the darker it gets. The Jews are black unto the ground. Watch. Let's see how Adam looked, the first man created. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Adam was the first man created, right? What color was he? If God formed him from the dirt. No. Read it again. And the Lord. Now you say his skin tone was white. Listen to what color is the dirt? Watch this. Read it again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust or the dirt of the ground, sis? Black. Adam was a black man. That's why I said this in Jeremiah 14. Let's go back. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Come on. Judah mourned, uh -huh. and the gates thereof languished. Read. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. Unto the what? Unto the ground. They are black unto the ground, meaning what? They are dark-skinned people like the dirt. Y'all understand that? The Jews are black unto the ground. Now, I'm going to show you something. Give me Jeremiah 17 real quick. How, why we don't know we the Israelites? Why y'all not walking around saying, I'm from the tribe of Judah, or I'm from the tribe of Ephraim, I'm from the tribe of Manasseh? Why y'all walking around not knowing your heritage? I'm going to show you what God did to us, sis. Now you understand that you know what color is Adam? What color is he? He was black. What color are the real Jews? They are black. Oh, I got to show you something about the other Jews you were talking about walking around with the thing on their forehead. Let's see about them. Give me that real quick in uh, Revelations. Uh, give me two or nine. Give me two or nine. Let's see who they serve. Let's see why they do those things. Revelation chapter two. This is the book of Revelation. 
chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. This is Christ speaking. He's speaking to the real Jews. He say, I know your works and the tribulation, the trouble that you're going through on this earth as a people. Because we're going through a lot, right? Watch this. Read on. Christ know. He know. Read on. And poverty. Uh -huh. But thou art rich. God say, Christ said that we are rich. You know why? Because the kingdom of heaven belongs to us. When Christ returns, he's coming back to give us rulership on the earth. Meaning the whole earth. Who rule the earth right now? Let's be honest. Who rule the earth right now? What race of people is black people rule the earth right now? And we getting shot down in the streets by the police? We getting thrown in jail? Say it again. White people run the earth. No, Hispanics is going through the same thing we going through. They getting thrown in jail and getting shot down on the streets. Because why? We're the same people. But the race of people you say who run the earth, sis? White people run the earth right now. They're in control of everything. Now listen. But the Lord said we are rich because when he come back, we're going to be in that position. We're going to be in a rulership position. All nations are going to have to bow down to the nation of Israel. Just like they put us in slavery and made us bow down. Christ is going to give us that same power. Watch this. Read it again. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. We are poor people. We're poor in spirit and we physically poor. Come on. And I know the blasphemy. Blasphemy means bold-faced lie of them which say they are Jews. What people running around saying they are Jews? What, what race of people? What color are they? You just said it earlier. White people. He said, I know the blasphemy, meaning the bold-faced lie of them that say they are Jews and are not. And are what? And are not. Let's read the whole verse so they can get it. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Which say they are Jews and are not. So guess what? We just read that the real Jews are what? What color? Black. So those that's running around pretending to be Jews, Christ said they're not. Who a Jew? You a Jew. That's right, sis. You're learning something. You've been in church all your life, and you never learned that you're a Jew. You know why? Because you got false prophets and false teachers in those Christian churches. They teaching what the slave master pushed down upon our people in slavery. They're not teaching the Bible. They never taught you this. I'm going to show you something about your hair, too. Give me Deuteronomy. It's, it's, but it's, it's love, sis. It's to help you out. Because do our people, was our people born with that type of hair? What, what people came out with that type of style of hair? What race of people came out with cutter in their hair? White people. Give me that in uh, Proverbs 3. Bring it up. I'm going to show you something, sis. And it's all love to get our people back to who we are. Your hair is naturally what? What color? Black. Just like Christ's hair. Christ's hair. Christ had wo white woolly hair. God got white woolly hair. Bring it up. You understand? Not a perm, but he got woolly hair. Just like you got woolly hair, but he ain't got a perm in here. Shots fired. No, I'm just joking, sis. I'm just joking. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. What people is oppressing us, meaning unrighteous judgment has been done to us. What people is doing that to us? Treating us unfair. White people. White weeks is going to be real. They treating us unfair. But look what the Lord say about the oppressor. Read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his way. You heard what the Lord just said? He says, envy not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. What way? Who way is that? The hell? Say it. She just said it earlier. What race of people was doing? White people. The Lord said, don't choose their ways. Choose our ways. You, your hair is naturally black. That's the color your hair is supposed to be. Right. We're not supposed to run around. That's why we're in slavery now. Even celebrating right. Easter and Christa, right. Christmas and Valentine's Day. Those things not in the Bible. No, let me tell you real quick. I know it ain't Christmas, but we're going to deal with it. How you doing, sir? What's your name? No, I got you, sis. You. Easter is not in the Bible. I'm sure it to you. We don't celebrate Easter. So Christ died and rose on what? Do you read about Easter in the Bible? Christ died and rising on Easter? So Christ died on the Passover. That's when Christ died. Not, you never read about Easter being celebrated by, the, by Christ in the Bible. Never, ever. Bring it out. Never, ever, ever would you read about Easter being celebrated by Christ in the Bible. So Christ died on Passover. 
not Easter. Watch this, read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 28, and verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, uh -huh. came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sub tree. So the end of the Sabbath, and it starts to dawn towards the first day of the week. When is the first day of the week? Sunday. Is you sure? Sunday. Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. But the Sabbath, when is the Lord's Sabbath? When do we suppose to keep the Sabbath day? Remember, the Bible says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You keep the Sabbath on what day of the week? You just said on Sunday. Sunday is the what day of the week, though? The first day of the week. But the Lord says, give me that in Exodus real quick. The Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week is the first day of the week? That's impossible. The seventh day of the week is the end of the week. It's the last day of the week. And then you, it goes around back to the first day of the week, which is Sunday. So why are y'all keeping Sunday? And the Bible says keep Saturday. Bring it out. Watch this. Read that. Bring it this is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God says remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The end of the week, which is what? Today. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. And it's things you should and shouldn't do on the Lord's Sabbath, like buying and selling and working and cooking. Remember, the Bible says rest. What are we resting from? We're not supposed to buy, sell, work, or cook. And the fifth thing we're supposed to do is come congregate. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. We're supposed to go what they call church today. Yes. Read it again. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. God says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Meaning separate from all the other days of the week. That's what holy means. Come on. Six days shalt thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it, in the Sabbath day, meaning during the Sabbath day, thou shalt not do any work. Thou shalt not do any work. You should not do any work on the Lord's Sabbath day. It's Saturday. From Friday, from Friday night to Saturday night is the Lord's Sabbath. Yes. There you go, since you got it. The new day starts Saturday night when the sun go down. That's the beginning of the, the first day of the week. You understand? So you ain't learned that in church. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.